Hi, I'm Derek Wilkins and I'm with Drew Nichols. We're with LTC Tree and we have some long-term care insurance statistics to go over today. Yep, so we want to talk about some of our favorite statistics. So we printed off a couple of them. Um, and what we're looking at is uh, over 163,000 claims. So we're analyzing a pretty big data set. Um, and you know, they range from the youngest claim was age 27 wow. all the way up to 103. So a big uh, universe of claims. Um, one thing I noticed when I was looking through these uh, statistics was, uh, first of all, the industry's paying out up to $15 million each and every day in claims. Wow, yeah, that's a, uh, I guess the industry was started in 1974, so this data goes back to 1974, so that's, uh, that's a lot of money. It um, is, yep, yep, and, and that's the, you know, all the, industry, all the uh, companies put together. Uh, the largest company in the industry is paying about four million of, of that. Uh, just themselves. So one-fourth of the market. Yeah. Now one interesting thing uh, from the numbers that uh, really started to show up in the last 10 years was that um, there's basically two types of claims. You've got uh, a, a big portion of the claims, about 43%, are for a year or less. Okay. But if you make it beyond a year, the claims really stretch out. Wow. So what are some of the statistics on how long people use these that are pretty common? Yeah, a good statistic that I read recently was um, for people, um, for people when they use their policies about 92% of the time, the claim's gonna last for five years or less. And uh, about, was about 90% of the time, it's three years or less, so yeah, that range, about nine out of 10 people. The, the majority of policies are, are used for three years or less. Yeah, but if you're, I guess you're in the outlier, um, you know, we have clients, maybe they have family who've had Alzheimer's or some type of dementia or cognitive issue, a lot of times they'll get a little bit longer uh, uh, plans just to hedge against that risk. But what's interesting is that uh, if you look at the statistics from the 90s versus the statistics from now, the claims are getting longer. They mm -hmm. are. So as time goes on, uh, it may be more uh, pertinent to, if you are worried, maybe look at a five-year plan versus where you may have looked at a three or a four three year. three in the past, yeah. It, it, that's got to be modern medicine is yeah. probably keeping people alive longer. Yep. From yeah, that's true. So and it's gonna things are diagnosed maybe more early than they used to yeah. and so forth. Um, we uh, studied uh, our own customers. We studied 3,730 clients um, to see what they had purchased. This covered 44 states. And we found that the uh, average benefit that people buy is about $160 a day and just a tad over three years, like 3.5 years. Right. So a lot of our clients, you know, they say, you know what, like any insurance, I may buy this and never use it. Right, right. So they just want to hedge the risk a bit. Yep. You know, and looking at the statistics, it's basically that, you know, without a uh, magic eight ball, there's no way to know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the statistics that I read last week was uh, th with long-term care, there's really four main settings where people need care. It's um, a nursing home, of course, which most are familiar with, assisted living facility. Those are kind of more like, um, you know, apartment type settings where there's, the, if you need help, you know, it's on the premises, but you get your own apartment. It's more independent living. Uh, adult daycare, and then of course, home health care. But what was interesting in the statistic is uh, they found that about 71% of all claims were either home health care or assisted living facility care. And uh, a lot of people, when they think about this, they immediately think nursing homes. Nursing homes, yeah. But and most, most don't use it. With, no, they don't. Them. And the majority of claims, about 75% of claims, begin at home. So mm, yeah. uh, with these policies, there's an optional rider that you can buy where your care is covered from the first day at home. Um, and some people may be interested in that. It, it's a nice benefit, but it yeah. does cost money. Yeah, yeah, it's like anything. Um, but anyway, we just want to go over some long-term care insurance statistics with you today. And we appreciate you uh, taking the time. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please vid visit us on at ltctree.com. Or if you're on our site, if you want to get more information, have quotes mailed to you, uh, go to the bottom of this page and fill in the form. Yep. Thanks for your time. Thank you.